Hello, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I'm here in beautiful Rocky Fork State Park in Hillsboro, Ohio for the Axe Junkies Extravaganza. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about what you'll find in an Extravaganza. Now, of course, this channel is and video is made possible through sales at my website, beachandtactical.com. I sell tactical and practical gear. Also, I'm a brand ambassador for Grunt Style. And I do have a Patreon, so all of those links will be in the description box below. So, we made the trip up here, about a four-hour drive. We packed up the wife and the dogs and the little Honda Fit, slept in there last night. Packed up all my axes, all this gear and everything. And I am just so excited to talk to you about the camaraderie, uh, you know, the, the atmosphere of an extravaganza. Sal is... Uh, is bringing a smoker. I brought a bunch of pear wood off of my tree so that we can smoke up some meat. And basically it's just, it is such a cool, cool event and I come every year. Sadly, I can't come this year. Actually, the extravaganza is next week. So, this is probably, probably the dumbest mistake I've ever made like I've made worse mistakes by far but just on a scale of sheer stupidity this, uh, this probably takes the cake but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you my axe collection which is a little bit larger than I even realized so uh, we'll check that out so I've got this separated into a few different sections here these are just my collection of axes here. These axes are all from Craig Roost, Rooster, so those are all um, Rooster Mod axes. That section there is uh, all from Lambrocht, and uh, a few of them have some American Axe and Forge uh, goodies as well. And then we have the Council Tool production axes. So I figured we'll just go through one at a time. My personal axes. This is a Sager chemical axe. I'm working on it. Uh, it needs a lot of love. It's on a beaver tooth 40 inch handle. Um, and uh, like I said, it needs a lot more love. I need to work a lot more on the bevels, but it's literally, I just own it to just bang on it just to pop chips with a Puget sound. So uh, you can hardly tell it's a Sager chemical axe. I want it on eBay cheap. So it's it's ugly, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna cut wood. This is actually a very special axe. Um, when I moved to our family's first home, um, it was filled with trash from I think between like the 50s and the 70s, and this is one of the treasures that was found amongst the trash. Uh, this I do not believe is an original handle. You can see kind of how someone filed at it to fit it. And stuff like that and hung it really high on the head but it's uh, it's a sturdy hang and uh, made in Canada anyways this handles original to us so it's I would assume very very old this axe is probably the only one that I own that will not be a user this is gonna be a wall hanger it's got some family history and uh, it's just pretty darn cool so those are actually the only two that are kind of my personal projects that don't have to do with anybody else. Over here in the rooster section, uh, I traded rooster for uh, some product for these two hewing hatchets. I've used them a bit, but not as much as they deserve. He put a beautiful edge on them, made sure that they were ready to rock and roll for me. That was a long time ago. I think that we made the deal for this trade after my first extravaganza, which is pretty awesome. Um, you'll have to forgive my cruiser here. This is actually my first experience with the Axe Junkies and with Rooster. Uh, when I went to the Alone Boot Camp, I needed to be set up with a nice axe for Alone. And I came to the Axe Junkies asking for advice, and that's kind of what we ended up with. This beautiful... Uh, uh, 
sheath and baldric sling set up here is made by Jake Covert of Covert Axe and Tool and it is just phenomenal. I do have some videos on this axe and setup, but I do plan on having more. Um, I need to give this handle a coat of boiled linseed oil and I can clean, I'm going to clean up the head. Uh, it's been used a little bit recently. I wanted to clean it up more before the show, but uh, it is a user. So those are my rooster mod axes. Um, real quick in the middle of it all, the uh, Hidden Woodsman pack, one of my favorite packs, and the new the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors patch. You can get that at beachandtactical.com. Next we'll talk about the Lambrocked axes from Ryan Lambrocked. Um, this is a standard handle of his, a standard line. He uh, produces these. It's thin and beautiful and uh, they're, I think they're 40 bucks which is incredible I think for what you get. They come with a lifetime guarantee and I'll be hanging that on a little three and a half pound plum head uh, that I got from American Axe and Forge. In similar fashion I got this head from American Axe and Forge. This is in Evansville and that is a uh, civil defense axe. So you'd find this down in a bunker, which is fitting, hung on a Ryan Lambrock full custom handle. He will make you any candle that you want, any handle that you want for, and I believe his prices at the time were about 80 bucks, again with a lifetime guarantee. Again, it needs a coat of blow. It's octagonal. It might be difficult to tell, but uh, octagonal with a massive palm swell. Just huge. Beautiful, incredible work. Um, also, I've got this old hewing axe that I won at a Mennonite auction or an Amish auction. Handle was super, super loose. Um, so I sent that to Ryan Lambrock to fix the handle and he just fell in love with the head and agreed to uh, paint it up for me. It's a shape lie head from the 1800s. Big old eight pound hewing axe. And this is actually going to be a user. I am going to use the crap out of it. And I believe that's the original handle. If not, it's very, very old. And we just kind of shored it up there. So it's nice and tight, nice and snug. So that's my Lambrock collection. Um, if you want a custom handle, I'm telling you, go to him. He is really awesome. I really need to get that plum hung. And my council tool collection. Um, I just love these council tool axes. So, um, first in line here, my little Velvacut Hudson Bay belt axe, 1.25 pound head. It's actually, I stropped the edge. This, come on, camera focus. This edge will shave hair right now. It will just shave the hair right off your arm, your leg, whatever it is. Razor, razor sharp. The saddle axe, it, again, is one of my favorite axes. It also will shave hair right off your arm. Edge all stropped up. Um, but it's in the middle of a project. So it's gonna get some paint and some boiled linseed oil so it's not as pretty as it would be otherwise, and it will get cleaned up. But uh, just uh, talk about a premium, premium axe setup. Uh, my phone is not auto-focusing. That's really frustrating. Um, all right, probably my favorite axes here is the Woodcraft Pack Axe line. And I have both the 18 and the 24 inch handled versions. Um, for the 24 inch, that's the standard council tool mask with baldric sling. It's great. For the 18, this is actually a pre-production prototype and I just fell in love with it and uh, that is a uh, Copperhead Outdoors Kydex sheath from Ron Brumbeck and it is phenomenal. He does great work. Um, when I got this axe, which by the way again is just nuclear sharp 
Well, I got this axe. Ruger, you're supposed to be in the car. What are you doing, Scoot? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. When I got this axe, you know, a few people complained the handle's too thin, the handle's too thin. Uh, people have become so used to crappy, thick handles that are compensating for low-quality fit finish and material that they've actually come to think that that's the standard. And Council Tool is probably the only American production company in the last 20 years that's understood how that's supposed to be. But anyways, nice, beautiful, thin handles, and it really, using that axe really said a lot to me. And then this is a fe uh, falling axe, or a felling axe from Bailey's. Um, I'm going to post a picture right here, Lord Welling, if I remember, uh, of this compared to my dad's felling axe. My dad was a professional self-employed logger for, I don't know, decades or something. And, uh, and he had like six of these, but he would always buy them and cut the handle down to almost exactly this length. And they look almost exactly the same then as they do now. Ruger, come here. <whistles> Ruger, come here. You are a bad rat. Yes, you're bad. Come here. Good boy, you're supposed to be in the car. Anyways, um, they're just phenomenal. You're, you, come here. Over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, phenomenal felling axes, and it's surprising how useful a five or a six pound single bit head on a short little 24 inch handle can be. Um, it looks a little ugly, guys. I apologize. It's not as pretty as it was when I got it, but uh, it's very sharp right now. This is my truck axe. The handle looks crusty, but it is just smooth as silk and just ready for work. Really like that, hand, that axe and that handle. I like everything about it. It's just a quality working tool. So this is a huge bummer, guys. Well, I'll talk to you about that at a different camera angle. So this is a huge bummer because Council Tool just released what I think is going to be their most profitable, productive, best-selling, most on-market uh, axe line of all time, the sport utility line. And basically what they're doing is they are taking their best-selling utility axes they're leaving a forged finish, a little bit nicer handles. They're hanging them proud and putting a nicer edge on them. And they're barely more expensive. And, uh, and you know, they were going to be uh, examples of that at the Axtravaganza. And I really wanted to do a video on that. So uh, how this happened is... Every year, the extravaganza is like the weekend after my birthday. So I looked at the schedule for the extravaganza weeks ago, and I was like, yep, it's the weekend after my birthday. It's not the weekend after my birthday this year. So, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's my collection. If I was here next weekend, I'd be able to show you about 400,000 axes at the extravaganza. But uh, sadly, that's not going to happen. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. I look forward to talking to you, and uh, I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.